is she over Josh already? Hello everyone, my name is Julie, nice to see you on my channel. It's been less than a year since Josh was convicted on charges of receiving and possessing CP, as the anniversary of Josh's downfall approaches. Many have become curious about how his wife, Anna Duggar, is holding up. For a long time, the answer was not well. After all, this was a woman who devoted her life to her husband and who would now be forced raise seven kids on her own, and with no visible means of income. It's a situation that would send anyone into a deep depression, and no one was surprised when Anna disappeared from the spotlight after Josh was sentenced to 12 years behind bars. But these days, Anna seems to have emerged from her hiding place. In fact, it seems she's finally learning to enjoy her life of newfound freedom. Earlier this month the Duggars held their annual Fall Family Festival, and Jeb Duggar documented the occasion for his YouTube channel. Eagle-eyed fans were quick to notice that Anna joined the rest of the family for an afternoon of hay rides, cider and other wholesome autumnal activities. Not only that, Anna put on a pair of jeans for the occasion. That may not sound like a very big deal, but bear in mind that women are forbidden to wear pants, under the rules of the infamous Duggar dress code. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get video updates. So is Anna brazenly flouting the rules now that her husband is safely behind bars? Or have the Duggars collectively decided that she's been through enough and she should be able to wear whatever the hell she wants? Whatever the case, it seems that Anna is done hiding in her bedroom and counting the days until Josh's return. Insiders say she's currently living with her in-laws on the infamous Duggar compound in Tonti Town, Arkansas. Anna reportedly sank into a deep depression after Josh's conviction but not because she realized she had married a monster. No, Anna has maintained her belief in Josh's innocence and she's reportedly confident that his request for a second trial will be successful. Josh says he was framed by a family friend named Caleb Williams and apparently Anna actually buys that unlikely story. And if Josh says convince a judge to give him a second trial, we're sure Anna will be in the courtroom every single day to show her support, just as she was during his first trial. Yes, Anna is nothing if not loyal. Unfortunately, she's decided to cast her lot with a full-blown monster. With all the time she spends reading the Bible, you'd think that Anna would be able to recognize the devil incarnate when she sees him.